Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for our first Global Cruise Line webinar of 2024. Um, Today is going to be a very informative and exciting CLIA Global Cruise Line webinar with American Cruise Lines. My name is Johanna de Guzman. I am the Manager of Industry Relations for North American Travel Trade Membership here at CLIA. And I'm just going to quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. The webinar will run for about 45 to 50 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar and we will get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. This webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, CLIA Global. It is my pleasure to introduce our speaker, Melissa Young. Melissa is the Director of Business Development for American Cruise Lines, America's leading and most awarded domestic cruise line. She joined the company in 2023 to lead the travel industry sales team. She has an extensive experience in travel industry, having previously served as the North American Director of Sales for boutique hotels and develop strategic partnerships with various distribution channels. Melissa is passionate about growing sales with travel advisors, fortifying travel, or excuse me, fortifying trade partnerships and cultivating exciting new collaborations. And with that, take it away, Melissa. Thank you. And thank you everyone for joining today. I appreciate you taking time out of your busy day. Uh, these are exciting times for American Cruise Lines as we are growing, adding new ships and new destinations. So while I won't be able to cover everything we do today, I'm hoping to give you a good overview of what is um, what is trending and also some of the new um, itineraries and opportunities for 2024. So without further ado, I will get started. Okay, so really important to note about us, I think it's so indicative of who we are, is that we are a family owned and operated company. We've been in business for more than 50 years, and we started out as a small Connecticut-based company sailing one small ship on the Connecticut River, and, um, and now we are the U.S.'s largest domestic cruise line with 19 ships. We had two new ships last year, two ships this year. We build our own ships. Um, in Chesapeake, um, in Salisbury, Maryland, and they're designed uh, to be, uh, you know, perfect for our guests with everything we feel that our guests need. Uh, because we only focus on domestic travel, 90% of Americans can drive to our embarkation points. And then finally, we are American built, American flagged, and American crewed, which is um, something that our guests really appreciate. What sets us apart is, you know, our ships. Uh, we have the smallest ships with a maximum of 180 guests or fewer. And that means we can go anywhere and dock in small harbors and small ports of call. We're, we're not in cruise ship terminals, we're in marinas, often docking beside, you know, small private sailboats and ships. Our gracious hospitality is another point of differentiation. Our ships are small, so our crew really get to know our guests, often calling them by name on day one. Our cuisine is locally sourced and inspired by the region. I just sailed uh, from a, a Charleston, South Carolina to Amelia Island in December. and I'm still trying to, to work off the weight gain. The food was absolutely delicious. I found myself having to sample absolutely everything. Um, as I mentioned before, the ships are flagged, crewed by Americans. Our guests love that. They love uh, an 100% American product. And um, we have complimentary experiences included. Uh, often there are pre-cruise hotel nights. There's always evening cocktail hours, featured shore excursions. Uh, we offer daily entertainment and enrichment. And we have, this is also very important, the smallest ships, so we have the largest staterooms. All of our staterooms are exterior and they have private views and most times even private balconies. So our fleet, the fleet consists of four different classes of ships. We have our coastal cruise ships like American Constitution, Constellation, Independence, Star and Spirit. We have our brand new coastal cats. 
um, the, the Eagle, the Glory, which launched in 2023, and then coming in 2024, we're going to be launching American Liberty and American Legends. These are go anywhere ships. They have 55 cabins. They can host 100 guests and they can navigate in 12 feet of water. So literally we can go anywhere. Of course, we have our paddle wheelers, two of them on the Mississippi and two on the Columbia Snake. And they are so romantic, giving um, experience to what it would have been like to travel these rivers in yesteryear. And all of our uh, paddle wheelers have been recently refurbished. And then last but certainly not least, our modern river boats. Um, harmony, song, jazz, melody, symphony, and serenade uh, that are really the, the top class available in modern river cruising with everything your guests could possibly need. In terms of what the cabins are like, well, they look and feel like hotel rooms. They're spacious. Uh, they range in size from 200 to 650 square feet. Uh, you see here that we have king beds, all of which can be twinned. So that's great for friends traveling together. We also offer single occupancy staterooms at single fares. And these are among some of the most popular ones and the, and the first ones to go. One of my favorite things, I love sailing, I love travel, but I love sailing, is to just watch the world float by from your private balcony, as we can see here, or if it's a little chilly outside, just from the coziness and comfort of, of the bed. Um, the bathrooms are well appointed, full size bathrooms, really, you know, everything you would expect in a hotel bathroom easily found here. So our guests are very comfortable when they're traveling with us. In terms of dining, um, important to note that all guests can dine at the same time. Unlike other cruise lines, they may assign a seating time. We can actually accommodate all of our guests together at the same time in the dining room and um, they can come at their leisure. So if they're enjoying cocktail hour and they wanna stay a little longer and dine a little late, they can do that. If they're accustomed to eating early, they can come as soon as the restaurant opens at 5.30 and, and, and dine early as well. So um, lots of options. The, the ships, as you can see from the decor, have this modern coastal chic vibe um, and the food is really incredible. Um, the food is locally sourced and regionally inspired and we can accommodate uh, all sorts of dietary restrictions and special requests. On my recent cruise, I listed myself as pescatarian, uh, even though on occasion I eat a bit of poultry and I actually thought to myself, am I going to get sick of eating fish all the time? And I was, I was feeling a little bit of regret until I arrived on the ship. And just, it was never boring. There were so many different lovely seafood and, and fish dishes that, um, you know, I was really happy that I made that choice in the end. I ate exactly how I wanted to eat and I did it for a whole week without regret. On to our entertainment. Um, we offer um, lively on board entertainment. It features, you know, interactive lectures, musical performances, uh, some, you know, maybe doing spoken word. We try to bring the history and the stories of America to life. And we also, you know, talk about nature and, and the culture of the places that we're, that we're visiting. This is our uh, sun deck, uh, you know, the ultimate in viewing spots. Uh, you can see here that we have a walking track. We also have a fitness center on most of our ships, uh, but just to sit and relax and watch the world float by, uh, this is where you'll want to be. In terms of shore excursions, we have three different types. Um, our featured excursions are complimentary to all guests. Our premium excursions cost between $10 and $95. And these are paid for after the guest um, leaves the ship. And then our signature excursions are limited in availability and they're paid um, at the time or added to the reservation before the trip. So excursions are available through our portal 60 days prior to sailing. So really important to monitor when those excursions open up and guests can use our portal uh, to access their booking communicate any dietary restrictions, uh, book their excursions, and um, of course, see their, their detailed itinerary for each day.
In um, many of our uh, embarkation points, we do offer a complimentary pre-cruise package that includes one night at a centrally located hotel and then a transfer to the ship the morning of embarkation. Um, this is available for Columbia and Snake Rivers and our Mississippi River cruises and also um, cruises departing out of Juneau. We also offer a domestic airfare uh, we have a flat fee uh, and uh, guests have the choice if they want to use our air or book their own air. So the flat fee is $4.99 for the southern 48 states. So there's um, over 35 itineraries and they range from five to 20 days. And we're not gonna get into all of them. I, I do have some slides coming up that will highlight some of our um, most popular cruises and then some of, the, some of the newer cruises, but just wanted to draw your attention to where we go because I think so many people think of domestic cruising, river cruising, and it's just the Mississippi and the Columbia and Snake that comes to mind and, and maybe Alaska but we do so much more than that. Um, our most popular cruises happen to be on the, on the iconic Mississippi. Um, and then of course, you know, on the Columbian Snake Rivers, we follow the trail of Lewis and Clark and it's just beautiful natural beauty that our guests enjoy. But we also sail the entire uh, East Coast. We have um, a lot of cruises that operate in New England. For example, you can go harbor hopping from Providence, Rhode Island, to Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, Block Island. Um, we also sail in the Mid-Atlantic. We do a, a, an American Revolution themed cruise on Chesapeake Bay. It's a round trip, Washington, DC. Um, and we also sail you know, the, the, from there, from Baltimore, the complete Southeast that would go all the way to you know, Charleston and um, Beaufort, South Carolina, Hilton Head, Savannah, um, so we do the entire East Coast there. We've also added this year um, in and out of St. Petersburg, a Florida Gulf Coast and Keys itinerary. And then I just have to mention that we have a sister company in Canada called Pearl Seas that sails the, the St. Lawrence Seaway, the Great Lakes, and the Atlantic Maritime. So really so many options, um, so much more than just the Mississippi. So, and to now, um, some of our most popular cruises, like this historic Mississippi River Cruise. It starts and ends in New Orleans. Um, one of the highlights of this cruise is the Oak Alley Estate, uh, which features an unforgettable quarter mile of these beautiful giant live oak trees that form a canopy like we see here. And these are the ports of call. And, um, and then of course, we've got the historic Mississippi. I'm just gonna, sorry, out there sorry, with our, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna, I think I'm, I'm oh, sorry, I couldn't see my slides here for a second. Our lower Mississippi, um, New Orleans to Memphis, the reverse itinerary is also available, um, seeing all the best sites along the Mississippi. And then, of course, our Upper Mississippi cruise, um, really popular here. We visit the childhood home of, of uh, Mark Twain, which you see here in this picture. Um, the dramatic landscape in this region has inspired so many great artists. I'm actually looking forward to doing this cruise myself. And then you see all of our ports of call on the Upper Mississippi. And then Tennessee Rivers is new this year. It's um, either Nashville to Chattanooga or the reverse is available. And um, it's, it's surrounded by the beauty of the Appalachian Mountains. We see a lot of Civil War battle sites. And new this year, they've added, um, you can add on the Smoky Mountains National Park just prior to the cruise. We've added a lot of national parks this year as land add-ons and they've been so popular. Music Cities is another very popular cruise. This connects the Mississippi River with the Cumberland River to arrive in Nashville, of course, the, the home of country music. Seven nights, uh, you can go in either direction. Sorry, my, my button seems a little sticky here. It's not navigating so well anymore. I apologize for the delay. Um, and so, and then the Mississippi Gateway. So if you have clients who want to explore a little bit 
um, of both the upper and lower Mississippi, this might be just the right cruise for them. New Orleans to St. Louis or St. or the reverse is available. Um, you know, it's 10 nights, 11 days visiting all these wonderful destinations. And then some of the excursions, St. Louis Art Museum, New Madrid Local Loop, National Civil Rights Museum, Natchez Views and Brews, Harbor Experience in Baton Rouge. And then the Ohio River, also a newer cruise for us, 10 nights, Pittsburgh to St. Louis, or you could do the reverse. Um, I was just with someone from Ohio and Ohio uh, tourism from a county in Ohio was saying that Maysville is incredible, Marietta, so glad she saw these on our itinerary here. Um, and then some of the highlights are the Kentucky Derby and the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center. Longer itineraries have been really popular for us this year. Um, we've got the complete Mississippi River cruise and the Grand Heartland cruise. Um, they're longer and you can go either up or down uh, the river from New Orleans to St. Paul and your clients will enjoy that ever changing scenery. And then some of our points, ports of call for the Grand Heartland. And then the course now over to the Columbia and Snake Rivers, which is um, such a favorite, such a really, we, we see guests that sail the Mississippi first, the second river they're likely to book um, is our Columbia and Snake River, uh, where we follow in the footsteps of uh, famous explorers, Lewis and Clark. Um, and uh, some of our ports of call here are listed here for you. The Hell's Canyon tour is a must. Uh, Fort Clatstop, Mount St. Helens Scenic Drive, Multnomah Falls Experience, Pendleton Experience, all really great, um, adding to this very popular itinerary. Northwest Pioneers. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, my slides are sticking here. I don't know why that's happening. Um, sorry, Northwest Pioneers, 10 nights from um, Hayden Island to Clarkston or the reverse are available. And then of course, our Alaskan Explorer. And important to note that aside from this inside, uh, sorry, uh, the Alaskan Explorer 10 nights in Alaska, we also have four more itineraries. We do the inside passage from Seattle um, up, which covers over a thousand miles of scenic beauty. We are so small that we are one of the only ships that's able to um, overnight in Glacier Bay. And then new for this year, just wanted to point out some of our national parks itineraries. Um, we've added on uh, national parks to many of our cruises. So you could uh, sail the Columbian Snake River and then add on Yellowstone, Grand Teton. Uh, we have, of course, Great Smoky Mountains National Park uh, in conjunction with our Alaska, um, uh, with, the, with our Tennessee Rivers cruise. In Alaska, uh, we're doing Denali and Kenai. And so there's lots of um, national park add-ons and this has been really, really popular for our, for our uh, guests. So new for 2024, there's lots of new um, itineraries to go. And this is what's so exciting. Our, our Tennessee rivers, as we discussed, Yankee Seaports is eight days, New York to Boston on the Long Island Sound. Guests here enjoy uh, an evening cruise um, uh, you know, around the Statue of Liberty in New York City. And they get to go to small ports of call like Sag Harbor and Mystic, Connecticut and sail into historic Plymouth Harbor. So it's a really exciting cruise. Down East Maine, eight days uh, round trip from Bangor. Um, summer on the Hudson River is new for us. We've sailed the Hudson River, but for fall foliage. This year we're adding it as a summer uh, destination for, for trips in the summer. And it really was um, New York's original summer vacation destination. So, you know, in the 1700s, 1800s, New Yorkers wanting to get out of the city in the summertime would head up to the Hudson Valley. So it's really exciting from that historical perspective and really beautiful scenery. It's New York to Albany and back, um, you know, beautiful little towns, charming towns, beautiful scenery. Our Florida Gulf Coast and Keys, eight days round trip from Tampa has sold out. Uh, it's been sailing uh, January, February of, of this year and includes the Dry Tortugas, uh, which is, as you may know, really hard to see on your own. So we do it by seaplane or we have an option of ferry for our guests. 
our complete southeast, Washington, D.C., all the way around to St. Petersburg. Um, it is our longest East Coast itinerary and really beautiful to see from the Mid-Atlantic to the Gulf Coast uh, all in one go. Um, and then, of course, we have expanded itineraries, our, our um, uh, Grand Ohio River, our Grand New England River, and we've added, of course, our complete uh, uh, U.S. with a combination of many river cruises adding up to 60 days. So you would fly in between these. And then, of course, as we mentioned, our Great Smoky Mountains, Knoxville to Nashville. And so here's that Yankee Seaports, just to give you a, a, a look of where it looks, where you're going and um, the ports of call, Port Jefferson, Sag Harbor, uh, you know, really exciting, tiny, tiny ports of call that no other cruise ships could really get into. And then our Florida Gulf Coast and Keys. And then I wanted to mention that we do have a ship up in, in uh, Canada that sails Atlantic Canada, uh, the St. Lawrence Seaway and the Great Lakes. It's called Pearl Seas, and um, here's an example of some of our of our trips that are very popular. Portland to Toronto, as you can see here, uh, really lovely to see the sort of the, the, the coastline, very similar to that of Maine, craggy coast, beautiful ocean, great seafood, in and around Charlottetown. If anyone's a fan of Anna Green Gables, uh, this is a, a mecca, it's a must place to visit. And of course, PEI is known for their delicious mussels. And then um, down to St. Lawrence, stopping in Quebec City, which feels like Europe. Um, and navigating the St. Lawrence, which is what some of the very earliest explorers did, all the way down through the Thousand Islands and ending in Toronto. And then, of course, we have seven nights on the Great Lakes in Georgian Bay. This is Milwaukee to Toronto um, and really beautiful. These lakes are, you know, dotted with cottages. It's recreational area. People that live in Toronto would vacation here and to see it and to arrive by water. It's really stunning. Little islands, gorgeous little cottages, untouched beauty, truly off the beaten track. And then we have our St. Lawrence Seaway and the Great Lakes combined. So just to give you an example of how, you know, we have really something for everyone interested in, in exploring this region. This one starts in Quebec City, goes all the way to Milwaukee, um, you know, really does a wonderful, they go through, they pass through the Welland Canal, just so fascinating to get to do these types of trips. Uh, before leaving you today, I wanted to draw your attention to our travel advisor portal. If you haven't been there yet, it's a wonderful resource. Here you can book clients and, and manage bookings. Um, you can download marketing materials. We have images, videos, flyers that you can edit and put your own call to action on them. Uh, you can check what your commission tier is and how our commission tiers work. It's all listed there. We have a certification program. We are just updating our training modules and they will be posted there soon so you will have the opportunity to to do our new training if you like and get certified you can also find out who your business development manager is we have uh, five bdms located across the country that are there to help support answer questions uh, help with any additional resources you might need we want to help you close those sales so please don't hesitate to reach out um, and then of course if you're interested in groups we um, we just revised our groups policy. We're doing uh, you know charters and incentives, and because our ships are so small, like those beautiful coastal cats that are brand new, 55 cabins, 100 guests, it's really just perfect for a group. So on this call is my wonderful colleague Sarah Smith. Uh, if you have any questions, um, she's going to be monitoring the chat and helping me out a little bit. But she's the one that heads up that department, and so um, just wanted to mention her because uh, we're here to help again if there's anything we can do to help you secure a group or if you're interested in a charter um, and then of course our cruise specialists we're here um, you know our, our call center is open uh, if you prefer not to use the portal or if you ever have a question don't ever hesitate uh, to pick up the phone and reach out to us so I just wanted to thank you so much for your time today and, and joining and and see if anyone has any questions for me Melissa, thank you so much for a great presentation. Um, I was very excited to see the Nashville and Chattanooga uh, itinerary that you all have added for 2024 because I am actually moving there. So, oh, that good. Oh, that's, yes, you'll have to come aboard and have a visit.
<laughs> for sure, for sure. We could definitely set something up. I did have a question here, and I'm glad that you touched on it at the end of the presentation. If uh, a lot of our agents are looking for who their BDMs are for a specific state or a specific region, can you provide that information to where they could find that? Or if, if there's something on the website they can create an account for just to get in contact with you all? Absolutely. It's on our Travel Advisor portal, uh, but if you like, I can share it um, as well uh, here. We, I can maybe send a follow-up email, or I can put my um, email address in the chat. If anyone would like to reach out to me, I'd be happy to make sure that they have the the, um, the appropriate BDM. Sure. I can actually, well. if you want to give us your email, Melissa, I can put it in the chat for all of our attendees and agents. Sure. It's Melissa, M-E-L-I-S-S-A, dot young y-o-u-n-g at americancruiselines.com and i do apologize my my slides were sticking it was the, i don't know i was getting a window popping up when i when i was trying to advance so i do apologize it was it was a little choppy uh throughout uh the presentation there it's okay um you were coming in clear on your sound so i'm sure that a lot of our agents were able to still pick up that really good information that you were sharing with us uh, all right, so I put the email there for all of our agents and attendees, so hopefully they will use that and you'll hear from them very soon. Um, a lot of our attendees are also asking about any specific spe or special pricing for military or any commissions that are special and unique to American Cruise Lines. Could you just speak to um, certain, I guess, specials or packages that you have for our agents to take advantage of? Yeah, um, so uh, we actually have a lot of military that sail with us already. They're a big part of our guest demographic. Unfortunately, we don't have anything, any discounts specifically for military. I think they came before the, the idea of a discount came. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> But um, we love, we actually honor the military uh, on board our ships. Um, you know, with a with a recognition ceremony, um, we're a very patriotic uh, company. Um, in terms of uh, travel advisor commissions, they are based on tier production. So, and that is marked on the the travel advisor portal. You can see a chart that shows, you know, based on how much production what the commission would be. From time to time, we do offer extra bonus commissions uh, as well. We just uh, have our a wave offer at the moment um, that is, I've got another, got till the end of January, but it's $50 bonus commission for lower Mississippi bookings in um, the spring. So for bookings on the lower Mississippi in February, March, April, um, they are $1,200 off. That's and, and complimentary domestic airfare for the client and then travel advisors can earn another $50 commission on that um, but you know the we our commissions are very good and, and the our our product is also priced uh, so that you know advisors have an opportunity to earn a you know really good commission um, you know our ships are small and that you know leads to um, a higher cost you know we're, we operate small ships and we are entirely crewed by Americans which also contributes to to our cost and so you know by the time you're done it's usually you know quite a good commission check um, as well so it's it's a, it's a, a great value um, product uh, and a great opportunity to earn commission thank you very much I'm sure they're gonna start to take advantage of that especially um, since it is the start of the year so they've got all year to take advantage of it I, uh, Yes, I mean, uh, yes, that, that and the, the $50 bonus commission comes and goes. Right now, it's just on the lower Mississippi for sailings in uh -huh. January, February, March. But, you know, we're looking to do something again for um, our Chesapeake Bay sailings in April. So uh, stay tuned. I think a great thing to do, if, if you do register on our Travel Advisor portal, you'll receive our emails and then you'll have all the information. We always communicate um, an email to Travel Advisors, you know, if there's a special bonus commission. Uh, or a fam coming up or, or something like that. Perfect. And what, just in case they missed it or they don't know it, what is the website that they can go to to sign up for the agent portal? So it's americancruiselines.com. And in the top right, there's a travel advisor button. So if they click on that, um, they can request login details. So it's a bit of a process to get started. Uh, they will request login details and then we will send them um, a number that they can then create a username and password and then they have access to the site. 
So and we'll have once we have their email address, we'll be able to add them to our our distribution list. Great. And last question, just speaking to our agents, uh, a few of them are asking, are there opportunities for new travel agents to do any fam trips or travel agents to do fam trips in general? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so there's uh, a, a couple of opportunities. One is a self-guided FAM. And if and if a travel advisor completes our training successfully and, and passes the test, uh, they then qualify for uh, a 50% uh, discount uh, on a cruise. And that's booked at 60 days out. So it's based on availability two months prior. So there's that right. option to go as a self-guided fam. Um, and then also if if, um, if a travel advisor, we're looking at doing more fams. We would like to, we're, we're looking at adding more fams. And I think it's important to get travel advisors on board our ships to see them firsthand. It makes it so much easier to then be able to sell it. Um, and then the third option would be if you happen to be in a city where we have a ship to come on board for a tour. So if you know you're going to be, um, let's say, in um, Savannah, Georgia, and we've got a ship in the region at that time, uh, you can reach out to the BDM, to your business development manager, and we could arrange for you to come aboard, have a tour, have lunch, something like that. Perfect. That sounds very, very fun to be a part of. Um, and just moving on here, it seems as though a lot of our attendees got very excited and very engaged when you started speaking about the different excursions that American Cruise Lines offers. Um, are you able to possibly pull up the slide, <coughs> excuse me, the slides yep. regarding the different excursions, just so if they missed it, we can kind of see what there is to offer. And Melissa, for, um, I think it's, it's fun to know your personal experience. What I guess is your top two favorite excursions that American Cruise Lines offers? Yeah, good question. Um, so uh, yes, I'd be happy to. And uh, I wonder if there's a way to share the excursions that might be more efficient for everyone. Our, our website actually is a great source of information and would have the you know information on excursions if someone wants to look for a specific cruise. I don't know, are you able to see my screen now? I've got some excursions up here. Um, if you um, click on your dashboard, and just make sure that drop down menu is showing screen. There we go. Now we can see it. Okay. Great. So there's um, excursions for a Colombian snake. So my favorite two excursions, um, I would have to say, are um, I would have to say, ooh, uh, okay. So I would have to say Savannah at night. I recently mm -hmm. sailed. Um, on our American Eagle doing our historic South and Golden Isles. And uh, it was so fun sailing into Savannah, which I'd been to many times before on land. Um, first of all, there were dolphins in the water being very coy with us. I was trying to take a picture of them, but they were not uh, cooperative. Uh, and then we were fired at by uh, a cannon at a fort as we were driving by and you could smell the sulfur and it sort of felt like, wow, is this what it was like to, you know, back in the day <laughs> to approach and it have a cannon fire time. at you? Sorry? It took you to a different time. It took you to a different time. And, and that, yeah, it really did. He felt like you smelled smell that, you know, that sulfur. It was a blank. I knew it was a blank. It startled me for a moment, but it, it did transport me. And then we docked um, right along the river in Savannah, right near the JW Marriott. So like prime, prime, prime. It's like being in a little boutique hotel, you know, right in Savannah. And we do a, a an evening walking tour called Savannah After Dark. And that was so lovely to just the, the stories of the ghost tours and, you know, uh, went to the Prohibition Museum and had a cocktail and it did transport me and it just brought it the city to life in a way that I hadn't experienced. So um, I really love that. I love Savannah. Um, and then my other one would be, um, I do like lobster. I mentioned my pescatarian option, even though I'm not strictly pescatarian. Um, I, I, uh, there was a lobster bake um, in Providence, Rhode Island, where our chefs and our culinary team go shoreside and they create a lobster bake. They, they dig, like there's like a, 
a ditch they set it up in and they have crates of lobster, crates of um, corn, um, potatoes in like steamer baskets and they cover it with seaweed. They have a fire going underneath it, cover it with seaweed and like a tarp and it sort of slow cooks. And then the chef comes and unveils it. And it's like this really great culinary experience. I like to cook. It's sort of interesting, like the flavoring of the natural seaweed on it and how they slow steamed it. Cause anyone that cooks knows seafood cooks very quickly yet this was hours long, you know, with this low burning fire, um, you know, beautiful. It just, uh, you know, steps from the ship uh, in Providence, Rhode Island, which I love, I love New England. So those are my two favorites. Well, those sound amazing. I love to see the views and being out on the river right by the water is something that not a lot of people get to really experience, especially on vacation. So that is, thank you for sharing that with us. Thanks. You know, it's it's so interesting to me. Well, I used to live in Los Angeles for a while and I moved to New York. And when we moved as a family, I've got two kids, we drove across the country. And it's just, you know, to take the time. I used to, I love going to Europe. I've been to Africa. You know, we're all in travel. We we're so fascinated yeah. with the world. It really made me appreciate the beauty and the the, the diversity um the history we have right here in our own country and so to drive across and and it's even better when you're sailing when you get to see what the scenery looks like from the water or mm -hmm. arrive by water like in new england where where i'm living now um it's such a sailing community you know my son is a sailing instructor at a camp in the summer and it, it, everyone has sailboats and it, but and if you don't have one you kind of don't get the same experience so this enables you to experience what it's like to arrive in you know rhode island or nantucket or martha's vineyard by water like all the other sailors i love the sailing aspect of it too and and just ex you just experiencing it from the water is so special yeah, and it sounds like American Cruise Lines, if you want to, you know, stay it within the United States, it sounds like the best option in terms of unique itineraries and giving that um, unique experience of arriving by water that many people might not be able to say they do in a lifetime. So that is amazing to hear. Yeah, and we hear that a lot. We hear when, when we're at travel shows, trade shows, uh, we hear a lot of advisors that say my guests or my clients don't really want to fly. They certainly don't, they don't like some of them don't want to go to Europe anymore, jet lag and delays and cancellations. You know, they they're 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 not as interested in flying. I don't know exactly the reason if it's the demographic, but there seems to be a, a real demand for being able to cruise close to home and, and stay close to home. Yeah, it feels like you're just cruising in your backyard. <laughs> um, we did have a few other questions here about any airfare offered by American Cruise Lines that are included in any of the itineraries. Um, and then just to kind of piggyback off of, you know, traveling as a family, would you say that American Cruise Lines is more family oriented um, or is it better for adults and larger groups like that? So uh, the airfare, all of our pricing uh, on our website does not include air, um, but there are a lot of promotions on that where we offer domestic complimentary air, and you have a choice of either taking our air complimentary or asking for a $350 credit, uh, so you could then, you know, they could book their own air and get that extra discount. So uh, we do have some deals for air, but it's never included in, in the price of the cruise that you see. Um, and then in terms of being family friendly, uh, it, it is and it's not. I think um, it's not it's like some other cruise lines that have a lot of activities for kids or kids room, a kids club, you know, mm -hmm. swimming pool, any of those things. It's more cultural and uh, historic you know, you know, immersive. So I think if kids, especially in middle school, when they're learning about the history of our country, that th that it might be of interest. So I think it depends on the family. Um, if your kids are happy playing cards at night, like mine do, we're fierce card players in my house, or board games, or listening to live music, or to, uh, you know, spoken word, and, and enjoying the sailing and going through locks. I mean, I've sailed in Europe on river cruises where the kids leave the little kids club, they took a cab, and turned into a kids club and they go just to see going through the lock system it's more educational so if that's conducive for the family then that's great we do have a lot of families that come aboard with us but just wanted to mention that it's not designed for children and that there's not children specific activities available i hope that helps okay. 
Thank you for, no, that does help a lot. I think it gives a good um, idea of what the target client should be, or it presents American Cruise Lines, you know, as an alternative if they want their kids to be, you know, off of electronics and off of phones. I think American Cruise Lines would be a great fit. It's like a, a out of school field trip, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, most most fifth grade classes in this country make a trip to Washington, D.C., or they go somewhere, um, you know, Yorktown, Williamsburg. So you know, to do that with your family and to explore by water and, and to see the monuments in D.C., I mean, it's very educational. Absolutely. I just I think it's important to be clear that it is more educational and it, like fun and lovely, uh, but it's not necessarily specifically, you know, activities geared towards children. Sure, sure. And because you're talking about how, you know, American Cruise Lines, yes, it is for families, but you don't have the um, the kids clubs or the kids specific um, things on board, which is completely fine. What on board, um, what on board activities are there to do for adults, for kids, for families as a group, or if, you know, the kids want to be separated from their parents for a little bit, are there things that they can kind of just get involved with on board? Yeah, so in our lounges, we've got all sorts of games, um, you know, board games, and um, uh, so there's there's that. Um, the, our captain usually opens up the pilot house uh, once or twice during the cruise, so I think uh, that's very interesting, a visit to see the captain and to learn what the crew does. Even in watching the crew dock is also, you know, very fascinating to see how they come into uh, a small port and, you know, how they manage it, uh, going through lock systems. So there are there on board there are games puzzles and then entertainment and sometimes that entertainment includes you know games for our guests where it's interactive and they're involved uh, in in the entertainment um, there's uh, musical guests that come on board local guests that come on board on some of our theme cruises um, sometimes people dress up in character from the time period and and, and uh, you know speak as if they were that person in the time period so um, yeah, so uh, so very entertaining, and and of course, you know the, you know, with kids with the devices, and you know, and of course, every every cabin has a television, so they can always watch a movie, do a movie night if they're not interested, maybe in what's going on in the lounge. Sure, sure. And are those different activities on board? Are they age specific? Are they accessible to all? Um, and is there an age limit for any guests that travel with ACL? Yeah, no, no uh, age limit and all those activities are available for everyone. Perfect. And speaking about being available to everyone, a lot of our attendees are curious to know with American Cruise Lines having the paddle boats and the, the, a smaller ship, right? Um, they're asking, could you just speak about any accessibility or ADA accommodations that you offer on board um, ACL and if walkers and wheelchairs are available or if they just need to let you know ahead of time that they need those accommodations? Yeah, that's an excellent question. We have, um, we do have uh, the ability to welcome, um, you know, guests that require, you know, additional help with the with um, uh, ADA requirements. So we have ADA cabins on board. Um, we have all of the measurements of these cabins that we could share in advance. Um, I'm going to have to clarify. I know it's in some type, in, in some cases we can organize equipment, and in others we cannot. So, um, Sarah, I don't know if you're able to write in the chat. You maybe have you may have more information on this um, specifically. I don't know if you've just see here. I do know that I've seen all the information online, and so I've been sharing it, but I have to say, I don't have it entirely committed to memory. That's okay. Um, and Melissa, don't worry about trying to find um, the yeah. information now, because I just yeah. want to let you and our guests know, and just remind as a reminder to you, I am going to take all these questions, these comments, and send them straight to um, Melissa and the rest of the ACL team so that if there are specific questions about rates or a group that you've already booked, they can assist you with those specific questions. Um, right now, I just want to make sure that we get as much general information about American Cruise Lines out to our attendees as possible. Um, yeah. Let me just go through these questions. One and more we do time. have yeah. yeah, I just wanted to add, even our excursions are listed, um, uh, you know, low physical requirement, moderate, um, high. So, you know, guests can, you know, we do provide guidance in terms of what excursions are, are appropriate for what guests. So I'd be happy to share all that information. I'm sure it's, I've 
you know, I can compile it for you. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm sure like a little easy cheat sheet or cheat packet. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me see here. Last uh, topic that I see a lot of our attendees asking about are the rooms on board the cruise line. So if you could go back maybe and pull up um, one of the state rooms. I think you had a few slides about the state rooms. Yeah. And they're just asking about different categories, the sizings, and kind of what's the most common or booked or um, quickly booked rooms that you see at American Cruise Lines. Yeah. Okay, just one second here. I'm so sorry. No, it's they okay. range in size. Um, my, my <laughs> computer's acting funny today, and it's shut down. Um, they do range in size, um, sixty to two hundred. Sorry. 60 to 200 sorry 60 to 650 square feet let me see here pull it up because the rooms look beautiful from those images oh great are you able to see this yes yes so um on our website we have all of our deck plans that lists each category and they do vary a little bit per ship. Um, some ships have, you know, grand suites, others the top suite is the owner suite. Uh, we have our Vista suites. So they do range, um, you know, slightly in square footage um, and slightly from ship to ship. So um, deck plans are easily uh, available on our website as are a virtual tour. So on these ships, you can um, you know, click and, and actually turn your mouse so that you get a 360 degree view of you know, the atrium on the ship and then walk down the hall and, and do the same inside some of our suites and staterooms. So that's probably the best source of information to see all the deck plans, the levels. I mean, they do vary from, from ship to ship with four different coastal casts it's ca or coastal for four different categories, class ships. It's hard to sort of generalize. Um, here. So I think the website would probably be the best place to to see all the categories and the square footage. All it's all very um, laid out, you know, very simply and and easy to find. And Melissa, do you know offhand what category this specific room is? This is a Vista um, category. So it's Beautiful. not a top it looks suite. Like a hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a top suite. Um, yeah, but uh, Vista category. But most of our ships, the, the majority of them, I want to say 90% of them have private balconies like you see here with large sliding mm -hmm. glass doors. Um, yeah, really, really beautiful. You see there's a dressing table and desk here with a mirror and lights and then, um, yeah, the individual thermostat in the room and then, you know, full-size bathroom. So really, you know, well-appointed, really feels like a hotel room. And beautifully designed. Yeah, no, I love the colors and the patterns. It's very simple, but it's very, it, it looks great. <laughs> yeah, they're all like this now. So this coastal chic kind of look um, with a, a little bit of regional inspiration from the rivers that they're, they're sailing. Beautiful. And speaking of the different rivers um, and regions that the uh, ships do sail on, could you speak about the food on board? Um, does it does it kind of follow the region that you're in or, um, you know, if there are dietary restrictions or, you know, if there's a special event going on, can our guests able to work with you all to get um, a specific kind of food or diet um, accommodation met? Yes, absolutely. Um, so th I would say I would describe the cuisine as American cuisine and that it's eclectic and it's, it's uh, you know, everything we know and love here in the U.S. And it is inspired regionally. So on a coastal cruise, you know, you'll have a lot of seafood, um, fish, and also there's, there's always um, like a, a red meat and chicken available as well. So it's not just that, but you see a lot of, especially when you're sailing on the coast, you, you do have this opportunity to get this fresh um, fish. Um, on the lower Mississippi, you might start to see regional dishes like gumbo and things like that. Uh, so it does vary slightly depending on where you are, but all in all, I would describe it as American cuisine. Um, some of our ships have um, uh, a lookout cafe, a secondary restaurant that would have pizza and burgers and sort of casual dining. You can go to, you know, and, and sit on the deck and enjoy um, 
you know, delicious casual dining. Um, and, and then we can uh, accommodate uh, all types of dietary restrictions. Um, we'd love to know as soon as possible. So at, when you have access, a guest has access to their portal, they can, uh, there's a tab there for guest preferences. So you could list that you are vegan, gluten-free, or allergic to X or whatever it is, you fill that out there. And of course, if there are anyone, if people are celebrating things, birthdays, you know, we'll, we'll definitely bring a cake and honor the birthday. And so again, all these things just have to be noted um, in the guest portal, or if a travel advisor wants to call our call center, we can note it in the booking as well. Perfect. And do you have that call center number available just to, um, so I can provide it to our uh, attendees as well? Yeah, absolutely. Let me just pull it up here. It's one 888 323 4741. Great. I'm just yeah. making sure that that goes to the chat, and it does. Amazing. And we do have a few minutes here left, Melissa. Is there anything that you wanted to leave our attendees with any closing remarks or last thoughts or things that you want them to really know about American Cruise Lines for the year 2024 and any future bookings? Yeah, I just, I think, um, you know, it, it's the, 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 if they haven't uh, looked at us or haven't looked at us lately, so much has changed. Um, you know, the ships have been, so many of them have been refurbished. We have all these brand new ships. They're really looking beautiful. Um, we're focused on, you know, providing a really wonderful guest experience across the board from the dining to the excursions to the onboard entertainment. And so um, I just think there's, uh, you know, so much to explore here um, in the US, you know, through our rivers and waterways. And it's just so much more than, um, you know, people think really, it's not just one river. We've got so many rivers to explore, so many beautiful cities. Th these are like, you know, America's original, waterways original highways you know before we had roads and a road system and um i just think we're committed to sort of sharing the stories of america you know through these waterways so if you have clients that are interested in history um you know american revolution civil war um you know if they're interested in nature you know i think this could be a really good option for them great amazing um and just to close here uh, Melissa, do you want to go to that call center slide that you had towards the end, just in case sure. they want to take a screenshot of it? And I do want to let you know that a lot of our attendees are very excited about the new um, staterooms that you've shown, the, the pictures of all the changes that you guys have made on board. A lot of them are saying that the presentation is very uh, well put together. So kudos to you on that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Again, I'm sorry my, my slides were sticking and I had this window popping up that threw me off a little bit. So I do appreciate the kind words. Um, so yes, our travel advisor portal, just um, you know, just to say that we want to work with you. We really truly value travel advisors and um, you know, reach out to our BDMs or myself personally. We want to help you uh, however we can. So uh, don't hesitate to reach out if there's something you need to close a booking or if you have questions or um, you know, we want to help so feel free to reach out directly to us and um, the travel advisor portal is a really great um, resource and then here's our call center slide um, we have a call center in uh, sandy utah so it's open 8 a.m to 8 30 eastern standard time seven days a week i was well, sorry sunday so on the weekend shorter but with this food <laughs> the call center is open <laughs> i said it funny <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Perfect. I'm sure that you all will be getting a lot of calls from our agents. Um, and again, Melissa, thank you for a very, very well put together presentation um, and the information has been invaluable. And I just want to thank you again for your time and I hope to see everybody next time. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining today and thank you for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. Of course. All right. See everybody next time. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Bye.